All right, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here from the home studio. Going to be cracking some packs on PTCGO today. As you can see, I've got 217 packs of Crimson Invasion that I'm going to open. And then I also got some bonus packs over here, just stuff that I've got lying around in my collection that I'm also going to crack open as well. I uh, just like doing these online pack openings for my own personal collection. I think they're fun to film. They're definitely fun to see what I could get. I've got two code cards here lying around in my apartment that I'm going to give away as well. So here are these to whatever lucky viewer is here super duper early. Go ahead and get them, get them, get them. What do we got here starting things off? Mammo swine. All right. I think the Crimson Invasion is going to be an interesting set to open 216 packs of on PTCGO. Hoping that, you know, we could get things going here pretty smoothly. Things should, you know, the openings on PTCGO are much quicker than an opening in real life. You don't have to deal with me, like, fumbling around with the wrapper. We got double dashing pouch. Uh, double dashing pouch, uh, that is. Or is uh, something... Guzzlord GX, double dashing pouts, and a Guzzlord GX. Uh, here in the United States, we know that is something else, but apparently, uh, apparently, people in the rest of the world don't call that a fanny pack. But uh, apparently, that's what that's what it's called here in the United States. We've got dashing pouch and Guzzlord GX is our very first opening there, very first hit. Pretty cool stuff. There are a couple secret rares to look out for in this set, a secret rare counter catcher and secret rare counter energy. I don't have either of those in my own personal collection yet. So those would be pretty dope to go ahead and get on PTCGO. Definitely would be stoked on that. I also am rocking entire sets, an entire play set of regular art buzzwolves on my PTCGO account. So it would be some pure fire if I could get some rainbow rare buzzwolves up in here or some full art buzzwolves up in here and make my own decks, my buzzwall decks especially, look a little bit more blinged out. That would be much appreciated for sure. Just got back from the Collinsville Regional Championships last week. For those of you all that caught the blog, caught the vlog, that was awesome. Shout out to Natalie for getting second place at that. That was a lot of fun. It's a cool regional championship. I think it's like the third year, fourth year in a row that I finished in the top 32 of that regional. In 2015, I won. 2016, I played Night March and got top 32. 2016, 17? 17. I already said 2016. 2017, I played Raikou Eels and finished in the top 32. And then this past year, I played Buzzwool Garbodor, the same list that Natalie used to get second with to a 22nd place finish. So Collinsville, St. Louis, that area seems to be pretty lucky for me. Definitely like that tournament. It's always run pretty well, put on by Yeti Gaming, and always have a good time there. So shout out to them for running an awesome event. It was great to see all of you Dariums fans that I saw out there. Anybody that stopped me, say hello. That was awesome. Really appreciate all the love and support I got out there. In fact, uh, I did have some fans just like showing up and whoa, we got a rainbow rare Guzzlord GX. Second Guzzlord so far. Pretty cool. Maybe I'll have to build a Guzzlord GX deck. I do still have to build a Charizard deck. I promised a fan from the stream the other day that I would build a Charizard deck. So I do owe that one fan from stream a Charizard deck. I will build that Charizard deck. I am a man of my word. I'm going to do that. In fact, probably after I'm done with this pack opening. Oh, we got a Rainbow Derp Tree GX. <laughs> All right. Rainbow Rare Derp Tree GX. Check that out. All right, at least we're adding some Rainbow Rares to my collection. That's pretty cool. Definitely can't complain with that. That is fine. Double fighting memory. Um, but as I was saying, I had some fans coming up to me and giving me secret rare skateboards. Awesome. Giving me regular skateboards for my collection. Awesome. I probably have uh, Cartana GX. I probably have about maybe 75 to 100 
a skateboard regular arts now the full arts or the rainbow or the secret rares are still like 10 to 12 dollar cards the price on those has not dropped at all since that they were released it really has been hanging in there right around 10 to 12 dollars so i have like 11 of them right now but I think I'm gonna try and wait until the price comes down on that card before I really start investing into it heavily. I mean, I would like to get like the world's biggest secret rare skateboard collection. Working on it, I have 11. Feels pretty good to be it there. You know, it fills up one whole row on my shelf. So like, that's pretty cool. I definitely like that. But I also had a fan come up and hand me a couple copies of Misty's Determination, uh, the full art card, and that was awesome. I had already owned two of those. Another Rainbow Rare Alolan Executor GX. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so you imagine those those Rainbow Rare Alolan Executors. Those could have been Rainbow Rare uh, Buzzwollies. <laughs> Buzzwolly. Those could have been rainbow rare buzzwolves, but they were not. They were rainbow rare derp trees. It's like, here you go, here's a derp tree. You get the coolest one, but it's still still a derp tree. No matter which way you cut it, full art, rainbow rare, it's still a big old derp tree. But like I was saying, had a fan, Sil Valley GX. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, had a fan. Give me a couple copies of Full Art Misty Determination. Actually made me want to start building a collection of Misty Determinations as well, not just Secret Rare Skateboards. Now I'm also collecting Misty's Determination. So I've been like poking through TCG Player and stuff like that, just trying to pick them up as cheap as I can and trying to get as many Misty's Determination as I can. I think it's like a good time to buy in on that card because it's not super expensive and it could go up. Uh, full art trainers tend to do pretty well. So I am working on getting a collection of Misty's Determination. I'm gonna try and have like the biggest Misty's Determination collection, uh, full art. I really love that supporter. I just think it's so cool. I love like the waves uh, splashing out of the background. I love that it's got that gold border around it too. I think all the full art cards from evolutions just look so good i mean that mewtwo full art looks amazing that dragonite full art looks amazing the um you know the i think the full art supporters from that set all look amazing as well they're just beautiful beautiful cards i really like the mewtwo really like the dragonite the dragonite just being so gold and awesome is just so cool Really can't go wrong with any of those full art cards. And though Evolutions was not a super open set either, there just wasn't a ton of like great cards in that set. But I think going down the road here, you know, as far as long term investments go, I think Evolutions is a pretty good set. Double diggers be a uh, pretty good set to invest into just because it's got a lot of collector's value. It, it was like the 20th anniversary set for the Pokemon trading card game. All those reprints in it from the base set, the nostalgic look, the nostalgic energies. I think Evolutions will kind of go down in Pokemon history as being a very collectible set and being very significant in the history of the Pokemon trading card game, though it is kind of underappreciated from a competitive standpoint right now where it's at. I know even like some of the Charizards in Evolutions are like not that expensive. Olivia Full Art, uh, pretty cool. I actually, and I've been like looking at prices of things lately and there's a lot of cards that are just priced very strangely. Like Olivia Full Art, you probably wouldn't guess that that is like a 10 to $12 card right now, but that's insane. Like Olivia Full Art is a 10 to $12 card and it's from Crimson Invasion, which is a pretty bad set that was very much you know over purchased so lots of people purchased crimson invasion uh but there really is not a high enough demand for it so you would think that there would just be way too many olivia's out there for the amount of people that want them but uh, olivia full art still a 10 to 12 dollar card to contrast that missy's full arts that i've been picking up have been between like you know, been about three to five dollars. So that's like a pretty good price on a full art trainer, full art trainer that I think over the course of some time could go up in price just because it's a full art trainer. You know, Misty's like an original 151 kind of, you know, it's got that nostalgic 
thing going on and I think could grow to be a more expensive card in the future so that's my hope anyways so i'm starting to collect misty's determinations i'm also starting to collect I and mean, y'all been known that i've been collecting secret rare escape boards why is olivia a 12 dollars card i have been seeing a lot of people's collections on like on the internet lately like on facebook groups like verbank and stuff like that where players have been posting every single full art ever printed right and they have the their collection is every single full art from the beginning and it's so cool to see the progression of full arts over the years and how they you know how they've changed you know they're very early ones like you got your n your bianca your sharon uh very cool stuff to see how far the full art supporters have come i just think that they're such collectible cards really they're very cool i i love the full art supporters and it's pretty neat to see people that have collected all of them now what's wild is like my buddy was talking to me about full art bianca and a get it uh gx buddy of mine was talking to me about bianca and was like we were talking about the prices of full art supporters and he was like dude if you you know have you ever looked up full art bianca and i was like yeah dude that card's probably not worth anything like who wants a full art bianca in their collection because bianca is not even remotely playable full art sil valley gx pretty cool card there nice addition to the collection uh but yeah bianca is like not even playable because lily is just strictly better uh, because Lily allows you to draw up until eight on the first turn, and then otherwise has the same effect as Bianca. And even in her day, Bianca was like not played in that many decks. Like there was a period of time briefly in the history of the Pokemon Trading Guard game where you only had like four draw supporters and no versus seeker and no shaman. So you needed to play. Uh, let's do open another. Uh, you needed to play either four. You played four Juniper, four N, and then you either played like four Sharon or four Bianca. And that was really all you had as far as draw cards. And you kind of just had to pick your poison. You were either playing Bianca or Sharon. And neither of them really felt that great. And as soon as better supporters were released, ooh, we got that secret rare warp energy. Very cool. Very, very cool addition to the collection there. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. But yeah, so like there's a brief period in Pokemon's history where you played Bianca. But it otherwise was not ever really a huge supporter in the game. It was, like, it was never that great. But Bianca is like a 30 to $35 full art supporter right now. Can you believe that? Like, Bianca. I mean, we're not talking about full art N. We're not talking about full art Juniper. Full art Juniper is $30. Full art Bianca cost more than a full art Juniper. That just blew my mind. Like, how is that the case? Bianca is from the Boundaries Crossed expansion, so it's pretty old at this point. But even still, I just could not believe that a supporter who Bianca is like not like a super big character in the Pokemon games. I mean, she's like one of your sidekicks in that in that block set, I guess. What from the black and white games? She's like one of your sidekicks or whatever, along with Sharon. But it's not like a huge, it's not like N, it's not like one of the professors who are just like super big characters. It's kind of like a side character and she was never playable, but she's a $35 card. I just was like, Phew. so like apparently there is some money in full art supporters. You can kind of turn them into a long-term investment potentially, but who knows what the life of, you know, the long-term life of these full art supporters are. I have no idea how these full art supporters that have been printed in the elite, not the elite trainer box, but you know what I mean? Like the, the collector's chest, the, like the, the end, the, the flare grunt, the blacksmith, the delinquent, the hex maniac. I have no idea how those supporters will age as far as their prices go. The N is sitting like somewhere around $20 right now. But a lot of the other ones are just like a couple bucks, a few bucks here and there. Not really that expensive because it's like you could guarantee yourself to get some if you just go ahead and buy one of those big collector's chests and then you just have it. Ooh, Full Art Nihilego, very cool addition to the collection. And with that new, what, Malamar that's gonna be coming out, maybe Nihilego ends up getting good 
with that new Malamar that's going to accelerate energy onto your bench, much like electric, dynamotor electric. That would be super duper dope. But yeah, so I don't really know. I don't really know how some of these full arts are going to age, but it seems like full arts are definitely like nice cards to invest into. Oh my gosh, we've got a golden water energy. That is awesome. I forgot about the secret rare energies. That is so, so cool. I'm very excited to have that on my collection. That is awesome, awesome stuff. I mean, those energies are hard to get. They're very desirable. Anybody looking to bling out their deck on PTCGO is going to need like, what, 10 of those. If they want to bling out all their decks, they're going to need like 10 of those water energies. And those water energies are not easy to get. So I could probably either trade that for some really juicy stuff in the trade market on PTCGO or I can just keep it. I mean, I don't really know what the point of keeping one secret rare water energy is, but I could have one very nice looking water energy in all of my water decks. Another derp tree, come on down. Very, very cool. Alolan Executor GX, I'm fine with that. Maybe I could build myself an Alolan Executor GX deck, potentially. But water energy, that is super dope. Um, I think that, oh, we got a rainbow Nilego GX as well. Awesome stuff. What a symbiont, symbiont GX. Add the top two prize cards to your opponent's uh, deck to the prize cards. The top two cards of your opponent's deck to the prize cards. That's insane. Lock up 120 damage for three. And when you put this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may leave both active Pokemon confused and poisoned. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. You could kind of imagine a deck with the new Malamar that's coming out that accelerates psychic energy to the bench. And then maybe you also could play the Dawn Wings Necrozma with Invasion that kind of like can go up and back. So that way when you play the Nihilego onto your bench and confuse your active Pokemon, it doesn't really matter uh, because you can go ahead and Invasion and then retreat with a Floatstone or something like that and heal the status condition from your own active Pokemon. Like potentially maybe that could be a thing in the future who knows but definitely definitely cool stuff i think it's also pretty interesting to see just as far as standard format goes i don't think standard format really got shook up all too much by ultra prism a lot of people were expecting ultra prism to be kind of the it set like a lot of new decks coming out we got garchomp coming out we've got empoleon coming out we've got uh, Duskmane Necrozma coming out, and none of those decks really shook up anything at the Collinsville Regional Championship. Still got a lot of Buzzwole going on, even some Volcanion, and still mostly Zorark GX. Zorark GX is proving to be kind of an impressive, and not an impressive, but yes, also impressive, an oppressive force in the Pokemon trading card game, both expanded formats standard formats you can't really get away from zorark gx there is no escaping this dude there's just it it's busted getting to draw that many cards per turn is just way too unstoppable and even though he is weak to your buzzwool gx which is who i was playing at collinsville even though he's weak to fighting doesn't matter because you could just go ahead and throw yourself a mew in there right and you can just copy all your dark Pokemon's attacks, but attack for psychic weakness. So poor Buzzwell just gets knocked out by Mew. And then if you say, want to use Zygarde, who I also played in my deck because Zygarde is not weak to psychic, then they could just go ahead and play Golisopod. So that's kind of what they did. The fighting decks that did the best at Collinsville had all the answers to the fighting type decks. They had Golisopod for your... Uh, for your Zygarde and for your Lycanroc GX. Uh, talking about cards that have spiked in price, Lycanroc GX, insane investment. Anybody who was on the Lycanroc GX hype train before that card got big, I mean, players were buying those at like a dollar before Lycanroc GX blew up. And now Lycanroc GX is like all the rage. So there's a lot to be said for a player who could kind of read the market, read the trends, read where where the metagame is going to go. And if you can kind of predict where, we're getting a lot of Komoos here, just saying. We've gotten like a lot 
a lot, a lot, a lot of Komoos now. So we are about, am I seeing this correctly? We have not opened a buzzwall yet, right? Because I have just been sitting here just like cranking out Crimson Invasion packs. And we have not seen a buzzwall. Not one. We're over 100 packs deep. We are three boxes in, basically three boxes into Crimson and Invasion and have not even smelled a buzzwall. We've gotten two, uh, what, rainbow, not rainbow, we've gotten like three rainbow rare, four rainbow rares, four rainbow rares so far, which is not bad. And then we've also gotten the secret rare warp energy and the secret rare water energy. So we've gotten like six super dope high profile hits but we have not seen a Buzzwool yet. And Buzzwool and Lusamine are really the only... We've got another full art, Naya Lego! Jellyfish, 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 jellyfish. We've gone through all... I think we need to take a break from, from the Crimson Invasion. How about that? Why don't we just go crack... We're going to go crack a couple bonus packs here. We're at 100 Crimson Invasion packs remaining. Let's go ahead and wander over here to Shining Legends Towns. Let's crack three packs of Shining Legends see if we can mix up the formula a little bit we had opened a hundred over a hundred packs of crimson invasion and we're not able to get a buzzwool yet that is just blowing my mind if we could get another secret rare energy though like that would be ooh, shining volcanian i did not own this card very cool very very cool awesome stuff there We'll open these three uh, packs of Shining Legends. Maybe I could get a fourth Zorark. I'm pretty sure I accidentally traded away. Oh, we got a full art Pokemon Breeder. That's pretty cool. I do have one of these in my personal collection. I like the mill tank there in the corner. I think that's a super cool card as well. Oh, no, it sent me out. Let's go back, back to my collection. I don't want to buy more. I just want to open my packs. All right, we've got a Sun and Moon. Sure, let's crank that Sun and Moon open, see if we can get out of Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, that's not really anything that I'm super looking for, but I guess you can always get Secret Rares. Secret Rares are always, always awesome. Never can complain about that. Well, we got two packs of Burning Shadows, a pack of Evolutions. Maybe I can get a Misty's Determination Full Art. That would be insane. Give me a Misty's Determination Full Art. Come on, out of my one pack of Evolutions. What are the odds? Let's do it. Give it to me. Oh, no, we got a Hitmonchan and a Farfetch. Didn't quite get there. Uh, I don't know about those chests. I mean, what these unknown, uncommon chests? What do we got in the uncommon chest? A mallow? That's fine. And five coins? All right. I'll live with it. I don't really like the animation on opening these chests. I feel like they take a very long time to get to see what's inside. The card's glowing. What do we got? Oh, a Samurott. All right. I'm going to be done with these chests. Let's move back to the Crimson Invasion packs, guys, and see. We've got 100 left. Well, first, let's do one one more pack of Guardians Rising. Let's do the pack of Guardians Rising. Can we get a Lele, Rainbow Rare Lele, something like that, out of my one singleton pack of Guardians Rising. And we've got a Tapu Koko GX. All right, that's fine. Out of one pack, I mean, definitely definitely not too shabby. All right, we've got a 100 packs remaining. Can we get a Buzzwool GX? I wonder if someone has ever opened an entire case of Crimson Invasion without hitting a Buzzwool GX. I think that would probably be the most depressing case of Crimson and... Oh, there he is. We did it. See, I told you. We mixed up the formula a little bit, and now we've got a Rainbow Rare Buzzwool GX. We went around, opened some other packs, and there he is. Rainbow Rare Buzzwool GX. That is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Really excited about that for my collection. I have opened... I feel like I've opened more rainbow rare and full art golem gx that's insane i feel like i've opened more rainbow rares than like regular hits i mean someone can go back and count but i feel like i've opened an absurd number of rainbow rare and secret rare hits so far in this case and i feel like my representation of regular gx's has been like extremely small like i have not gotten hardly any regular gx's that or i'm just forgetting about them like as soon as i open them i just will forget and since i don't have them all down in front of me on a play mat to look at i just have forgotten about all the regular gx's i'll have to go back and look and then count and then i will be able to really know how many I actually opened like that that would be that would be the thing that I would have to do Ooh, see but another one another rainbow rare that is so 
crazy. Like, we have gotten, like, how many rainbow rares is that? We've gotten, what, two rainbow rare derp trees, right? We got two rainbow rare derp trees. Got a rainbow rare Buzzwool. We got a rainbow rare Cartana. And we've got a rainbow rare Guzzlord, right? At the very least. So, like, I think we at least have five. But I feel like I could even have more than that. So, we at least have five rainbow rares so far i feel like i have more though but i'm not exactly sure and then the two secret rares the golden warp energy and the secret rare water energy so feeling pretty good about my hits so far if we could crack out one more rainbow rare buzzwell i would love to get three rainbow rare buzzwell like that would be the dream i also am looking for a full art lucamine like a full art lucamine in this collection would be amazing then if I could get like one of the full art lucimines in from the Crimson Invasion set, if there's a time to do it, now's the time. Trading these Crimson Invasion packs on PTCGO, they're not gonna get me a whole lot. Another one! Oh yeah, we got another water energy. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Oh yeah, that is sick. Another water energy in the in the books. That is so great. That is nuts. We've got another secret rare hit there two water energies so far that's a lot i mean if you think about the case this is like these are the code cards from the case that darium and i cracked the other week right and then we did the profit or loss imagine if these pulls had been in that case like i feel like we didn't get nearly as many sweet pulls like this in that case and we're opening it's like slightly less than than a case worth of packs because uh we gave away a few of the codes like during the case opening i think so it's like slightly less than a case worth of packs but basically a case worth of packs on ptcgo and we've gotten two water energies the warp energy and yeah two water energies and the warp energy and like a a bunch of rainbow rares so far but in the case we also did get like seven buzzwall or something like we've got a lot of buzzwall in that case and we did get a rainbow rare buzzwall so i think we're hitting harder on the we're hitting harder on like the rainbow rares maybe with this opening than we did with the real life opening but we're not hitting as many like full art supporters and things like that. I mean, we really just have the Olivia so far, right? As far as our full art supporters go, I'm pretty sure it's just the Olivia. The Elusamine is who I want though. I feel like the Elusamine definitely, I mean, if I could get another water energy, that would be insane. I'm not exactly sure how much a full art Cartana. I'm not exactly sure how much the water energies like trade for on ptcgo but i feel like it has to be a lot like i feel like it has to be a big amount there's no way that water energy is not just like a super sought after card on ptcgo with how people love to bling out their decks on ptcgo now i would love to have an unlocked account uh, for anybody that doesn't know there are such a thing as unlocked accounts on ptcgo uh, we're trying to get one. Apparently, Mikey knows people who knows people who knows people. And maybe Mikey can get us one where we just have a, an account that just has everything. And then I could just play every deck just completely turbo blinged out every single day. And we'd just be able to play all Secret Rare everything all the time. But I think you only get a play set of all the Secret Rare stuff in an unlocked account. So, like, if somebody knows better than that, they can correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure you just get a play set. So I think that that would mean that you only get one play set of Secret Rare Water Energy, which would mean that even in an unlocked account, you don't have enough water energy, Secret Rare Water Energy or Secret Rare Any Energy to play uh, in a deck. So you would have to trade for the rest still or double Salazzle. You would have to trade for the rest still or find another way to get them. So that just seems to me like a super, it's got to be a super sought after card because it's the only secret rare card where you would need to play like 10 of them in a deck, right? Like it's, it's the only secret rare card like that. So if you were to build a water deck, you would need like 10 of them. Every other card tops out at four. So even secret rare ultra ball, you're only ever going to need four. Whereas secret rare waters, people that are trying to build those complete collections are going to need 
yeah, probably at least 12, 10 to 12, something like that, so that they feel pretty comfortable that they could build most decks that come their way. But speaking of that unlocked account, we're trying to get our hands on an unlocked account. Until then, I, I mean, I enjoy playing on my account, though. I really enjoy playing on the competitive channel with my personal account, just having my own decks there and then having my own cards there. And I've been building up this account since like I started playing the game. We have been on this account, Enjoy Friend, for a long time. I have had the account name Enjoy Friend just forever. I've used Enjoy Friend for all my social media, everything, pretty much all my logins. Like Enjoy Friend is just my name for everything and has been since like the seventh grade. Like I came up with that in middle school and because I was like skateboarding and whatever and I've just been using that ever since without question. So we've definitely been here in the long haul with Enjoy Friend. Got kind of an attachment to that handle as I feel probably most people have some sort of sentimental or something attachment to their usernames that they use online because it helps build up kind of your online identity i feel like we have opened like a lot of this beedrill he needs to get up out of here we need to we need to mix things up we got 52 packs left let's open a pack of steam siege trying to get things mixed up i have opened like 10 of those beedrills in a row i felt like and i just am not trying to see any more than beedrills man my hair is nuts right now but take a look at my personal studio just saying like take a look at it this looks pretty good right like the lighting looks pretty good the camera looks pretty good my microphone sounds pretty good right i'm pretty excited about the personal studio right now i think it's really turning into something special i mean this is just from my own apartment like my bed is like right over there like this is just this is just my dojo here so that is all pretty exciting and the fact that i could just do this from the comfort of my own home is awesome i've got like super sweet studio lights in here like real like legit camera light like this is nuts like if i my <laughs> my apartment looks like the set of a movie right now with these like huge lights in here and the backdrop like i like this backdrop it's a nice japanese painting thing like i think that's super cool let's open one more pack of Oh, no, we got just Crimson Invasion. That's it. So we mixed up the formula. Now we're going back to Crimson Invasion. 52 more packs. We are in the final quarter of our packs here. And, oh, did I open? I didn't open Crimson Invasion. All right, we opened something else there. I don't know what set that was. But here we go. 52 more packs of Crimson Invasion. And we are in the final quarter. And we have one Buzzwool. But it is a Rainbow Rare. So can we fix things up here? I feel like these hits have been super awkward, super, super awkward. We've also only seen like one Gyarados. It's funny how you get into these grinds and you just see like every set of pulls is different. I mean, they're, they're random, I guess. I mean, I'm sure there's some sort of rhyme or reason or logic or, or formula to the way that these PTCGO packs generate you know, their packs. There's got to be some sort of formula, underlying formula. And it's probably, it's different than the formula that, that packs get produced, you know, in real life. It's got to be, you would think that it's different somehow because there's different rhymes and reasons to the way they print cards and then put the physical cards into the packaging. And then this is a computer program. So they've got to be inherently different. So uh, I don't really know anything about all that. Like random is never truly random. As you guys know, there's like, yeah, there's formulas and sequences to everything. So how random are these on PTCGO? I don't really know. How similar are the pull rates to the pull rates from actual packs? I don't have any ideas either. But you can see uh, sometimes the hits just get weird when you open this many packs. We've seen like one Gyarados. We've seen one Buzzwool. And, you know, we've seen like a lot of Nihilego. And we've seen, there she is. Yes. We have got the Full Art Lusamine. This is who I really, really wanted for the collection. That is awesome. I think this card looks super, super dope. And I'm just really, really happy to have that in my own personal collection here on PTCGO. Awesome hit. Finally, we were able to get that card. Glad we were able to get it in the final quarter here. Now, if we could just scrap together a few more Buzzwool, that would be great too. I mean, mostly because Buzzwool are just high-demand cards. Buzzwool, 
Next to Zoroark is probably the, what, the second most popular archetype in the game right now just because you don't have to play Zoroark in order to play Buzzwall, and that's the cool, appealing thing about it. If you don't want to play a Zoroark deck, you can play a Buzzwall deck, and Buzzwall decks are successful and good and straightforward and powerful, and they don't require you to play Zoroark. So it is the other option, but it's really the only good card out of this set right now, so it is a little bit awkward it's just so awkward there's like one good card in a set that's just a weird thing it's like the whole set was built just for buzzwell and buzzwell is the king of crimson invasion don't get me wrong i mean the dude it does some heavy lifting he is a good good card i mean it's almost uh, we will take it if you got a card that good in your set it's fine you define the whole set the whole set is pretty much defined by how good buzzwell is that is a okay Another cool thing, I just got back on on to Pokemon Go today. That was a lot of fun. I'm actually going to be creating an Etsy store soon. So I'm going to be announcing that through the competitive channel. You guys can all see that there. Just another way to support me as a content creator and another way to support Darium's competitive Pokemon. So I'm going to be creating an Etsy store and I'm going to be selling my Pokemon Go photographs on the Etsy store. So I actually, I have a photography degree. I'm a professional photographer. For those of you that don't know that, I do a lot of photography uh, when I have the time. And I actually used to work for a newspaper as a photojournalist. I went to school for photography and art. So I know quite a bit about photography and I really enjoy Pokemon Go. My favorite part about Pokemon Go is actually taking pictures. Another Ghost Lord, hey! My favorite part about Pokemon Go is actually taking pictures of the Pokemon that I find in the wild. It kind of reminds me of like Pokemon Snap. For anybody that played that old game for the Nintendo 64, Pokemon Snap, your goal wasn't to actually catch the Pokemon, it was to go around and take pictures of Pokemon in their environment. So I think of Pokemon Go like that almost. Like I'd rather get an awesome picture of a Pokemon wherever I found it than to maybe go ahead and catch it and add it to my collection. So my favorite part about Pokemon Go is taking pictures through the photo part of Pokemon Go. So I do that and I, I do it you know, with my iPhone, whatever. And I actually have an Instagram, if you're interested, it's instinct snaps, uh, instinct underscore snaps, because I'm on Team Instinct. And you can see on my Instagram, all of the Pokemon Go photography that I've taken and I've taken quite a bit like I really love it and I think that my stuff is like pretty good I mean you would you probably be shocked if you go check it out you would probably be pretty shocked to say that like I was taking all these pictures just on my cell phone through the Pokemon Go app like they're pretty cool stuff like I spend a lot of time really making sure that the photos look like like really good when I'm out there doing it. Like I'm really passionate about it. I find a lot of fun. And I'm going to be opening an Etsy store where I sell like some random memorabilia uh, from from events and things like that. I actually have my own metal GX counters that I'm going to be selling. Uh, that My buddy Alex actually works in a machine shop. He's going to be making these GX counters for me. And we're going to be selling those. Uh, we're also going to be selling prints of my Pokemon Go photography. Another Derp Tree GX, okay. So we're also gonna be selling um, the, like uh, just photo prints of my Pokemon Go prints to help support Darium's competitive Pokemon and myself as a content creator. So super cool stuff to come. The shop is in its like uh, early stages now. I'm just now getting the shop off, the, off its feet on Etsy, double Agron. But I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a cool outlet for me to have. And I'm also, you know, I'm planning on doing like uh, the competitive channel, like t-shirts and things like that through there. Eventually, that's kind of maybe like play mats, just different kinds of different kinds of stuff through that Etsy store. So I'm excited to launch that Pokemon Go photography through the Etsy store. Dope little uh, metal GX counters and things like that going to be coming soon. We've got 12 packs remaining here speaking of that uh, i'm also going to be creating some new tiers on darium's uh patreon darium's pokemon's patreon so i'm going to be creating some new tiers if any of you guys got any ideas for things that you as fans would want 
as a tier on Patreon, go ahead and let me know in the comments below because I think that you know Patreon is just an awesome way to support your favorite content creators and really helps us to be able to deliver you guys the best content available and it really, really uh, helps the business out a lot. So uh, Patreon tiers, gonna be creating new ones for Dariums and we are going to be announcing those shortly. So be sure to look out for those as well. Our link to our Patreon, of course, is in the comment, uh, in the description below. If Dariums is your favorite channel, you know, if you love Dariums, go ahead and check that out. If you have the means, it really, really helps out a lot. And we really love and appreciate all of our donors over there on Patreon. So we've got ourselves five packs remaining. Still only one Buzzwall. One single Buzzwall and two hundred packs. Can you believe it? I mean, we got the Lusamine. We got two secret rare water energies, but just one buzz, not a single regular art buzzwall. Are you joking? Like that just seems too wild to be true. Like that can't actually be a thing. That's totally nuts. Two packs, three packs remaining. It looks like that's going to be it guys. But I appreciate you all. Another derp tree, though. Like, how many derp trees? This is literally, like, blowing my mind. This is probably our eighth derp tree, derp tree that we've opened, but we can only get one buzzwall. Either way, though, I have gotten some super sick uh, hits in these packs that I've opened. Like, definitely can't complain. The Lusamine. I wanted the Lusamine. I wanted the water energies. I got two water energies. The warp energy to boot. Awesome stuff. So, that's it. I just got these. You know what? Hey, let's go ahead and crack these. You know, who knows what I can get in these these uncommon chests. All right, we're going to open four uncommon chests, and then we are going to wrap things up here. I appreciate everybody coming out, watching another digital opening on Darium's Pokemon. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to sub to the channel. Thank you all. Uh, I am going to be doing streaming again on Monday. Thank you to everybody that showed up last monday for that streaming that was a lot of fun so make sure to look out for streams on monday afternoons on dariums thank you all for watching make sure to like the video sub to the channel check me out on twitter at enjoy friend e-n-j-o-i friend thank you all for stopping by peace